And it has finally begun working on the, where's the title, Nautilus from Pegasus Hobbies. Er, box is too big. There we go. Had this for a couple months. And finally, well, I thought I had all the parts together to start on this, but, um, well, you'll see in a moment. So the first thing to do with this kit is build the interior, which I have most of the parts here. Um, for those of you who missed the review, there we go. There, there's a better picture of the final ship. And you see right here, there's big... Uh, windows in the library, den, whatever you want to call it, right there. And so that has to be built first. So we are on assembly part number two, which is the first one, go figure. But so all this has to be painted up and put together uh, before I could move on to the actual exterior of the ship. And you can see we got lovely little books, bookcases in this piece here. Lots of books, that's why I'm calling it a library. More there. Um, I was just checking something if this is the same piece. It is the same piece but is it's reversed. If you see this book is angled that way, this way, and on the other side. Is that right? Yeah, and then over right here it's that way. So, same piece but they mixed it up a little bit. Not that you can see both sides at once at any rate, but there's a couch and you got a little uh, organ and stuff for uh, Nemo to play. So I'm just going together and uh, starting by putting this together and seeing what uh, exactly how I'm going to do this. First couple problems are, well this little thing here, I was contemplating putting a carpet down to make it like a really comfy looking den and this is actually just um, a quick uh, copy I made off of um, how, where did I get this? I don't know. I got this like one of the Google images or something like that. A bunch of different carpets. I just printed it out really small just for size wise. Uh, I have to come out with a different way of, if I actually do a carpet here because I do not have a colored printer. And also I don't know if I want to use just plain old paper to do, to do a carpet. But um, that's something I'll toy around with. We'll see about that. Uh, the other thing I need to show off is I got some extra parts for this kit. So we have some paragraphic photo etch, which I actually forgot I bought. Something kept telling me I bought something for this kit and I couldn't remember what it was, but uh, uh, this is what I got. Uh, so here, here's the thing, I'm gonna light this thing. I know even after the Enterprise build, I said, oh, I hate lighting and all that, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, and then the next kit I do, I'm gonna light. Um, but this thing needs lighting because once this interior is all built, uh, you're not going to see anything in here without some uh, interior lighting. So it's it's almost a necessity to make this kit look uh, worthwhile at all. So I was contemplating doing, figuring out how I was going to do the lighting. Went through all my LEDs. Of course, I don't have the right sizes or colors that I need, so I have to order those from China and. They'll be here for a week, so I'm going to try to get done what I can. Then I remembered I have the photo etch, and all these little squares here, which I thought were just like wood paneling on the ceiling, it's actually, well, according to the photo etch, they're supposed to be lighting panels, and they give you uh, grids here to uh, cut all this out and then replace this with photo etch, and then I could put lights above it and have a uh, a massive amount of light shining down all throughout the entire room. Um, I'm still contemplating if I'm going to do that or not because cutting all these out is going to be extremely difficult and that's going to be cutting away like 85% of the plastic in here so this piece is going to be very weak if I cut all this out. Uh, so that's where I'm stuck at the moment but uh, I'm going to figure it out. Because before I was just going to like drill some holes, like a light here, light here, and light here. But uh, the lighting panels would look really cool. It's just hard to uh, figure out how to do that efficiently. But that's where we stand right now. And um, some of these other pieces I'm going to start priming and getting painted. The little globe. So I can finish off this interior and then actually get into the building of the ship. 
So I decided to cut out all the uh, lighting panels and my hand is cramped and can't move right now because use the drill. By the way, I got this really cool, you got lithium power drills now, so they're a lot smaller than a big honking one that I uh, used to have, very nice. Anyway, so drilled out, or drilled in a bunch of holes in the panels to help get them out. And once I got the holes in, it's a lot easier to cut through them, to cut out the uh, center, and then I can use a knife to just trim down to the edges and clean up the panels and hopefully not break any of the little uh, very thin edges here. But um, of course it occurred to me as soon as I started this I could instead if I just drilled a whole bunch of holes into these panels and if I did it in an even pattern I wouldn't even have to cut all this out because the light would come through the holes and you're not going to see the holes themselves once the panels are in place. Uh, that would have been a bit smarter plan. But anyway, I went with this because I could go ahead and paint everything up without waiting for the LEDs to show up since the LEDs will be mounted above this. But uh, just cut it out and then trim it up. Moving right along with the roof here and adding all the photo etch lighting panels and Photo Etch, really good glue, is a gloss uh, lacquer, clear lacquer, because it has uh, stays tacky for quite a while, gives you plenty of time to uh, work with it to get the Photo Etch just in the right spot. And also it dries very, um, it, it doesn't add any like, you know, mass to it, so very little mass, unlike, you know, super glue where you have a big blob. This stuff goes on pretty thin. And so this is a bit finicky because cutting out the panels did warp this piece slightly. And plus the photo etch trying to get that perfectly smooth is, so that's a little warped too. But hey, you know what, that one actually went on the easiest. So I just got to do this uh, well, seven more times. I mentioned I wanted to do a carpet inside the den to make it nice and luxurious looking and totally different from the outside of the submarine and I printed this one out just kind of get an idea of her size and everything like that of course I can't use a black and white carpet um, so went to the craft store first I got this paper I was trying to find something like an oriental rug this was about the closest I can get um, however it's it, it's not an oriental rug and it's a little too busy and I'm also just worried about the thinness of the paper even in scale I think it's just gonna look like paper so put that off to the side and said I went back and I got some red velvet paper so I originally wanted a oriental rug but then you know just like a a solid color rug will also work about work well and this is also a bit fuzzy it's a little bit thicker I think it'll look more rug like so I could just cut this out and glue a little piece down but you know I always love to make things complicated so I got some of this yarn stuff whatever it is gold string and cup pair of scissors and uh, I'll see you in a while. I think I need sharper scissors. What you're seeing here is actually my second attempt at making a carpet. The first one didn't come out too well. Um, second time around, I am using super glue rather than uh, I tried using the um, <coughs> excuse me the uh, gloss lacquer because that just wasn't giving enough uh, bite and I didn't want to use super glue because I didn't want it to uh, you know dry hard and thick and not be able to get a flat carpet but I ended up having to do that and also I figured out that the little threads here actually hold up a lot better if you moisten them first and first I just used water second time around I used some super glue accelerant which actually works a bit better because it's um, 
it doesn't keep the strands together as much as it did with the water so they kind of fray a bit more and they're fraying like just at the just the right amount so instead of like one in scale as large one large block of tassel it's more like a uh, you know threads as you would see on a carpet I just got to work quickly because the accelerant in the thread kind of spreads out and starts drying out the super glue really fast so doing this in small segments and after trimming off the excess there we are we have a little rug not super neat but uh, again it's going to be hidden inside the interior would have liked something a little bit fancier but hey I made a miniature rug that's a first working on painting up all the details in the interior and first of all for the metal I went with some Tamiya German Grey uh, it's the closest thing to iron that I could think of without actually using metallics iron's not a very shiny metal anyway so I don't think you use metallics on it effectively and uh, so I airbrushed that and then picked out the books with some uh, Vallejo burnt umber and then excuse me not picked out the books picked out the wood with Vallejo burnt umber and then some flat earth now I'm picking out the books using just a variety of bright colors normally or realistically I think these would be a bit darker because this is turn of the last century piece so we figure a lot of leather bound rich tomes but I need them to stand out if I paint them all like dark leathers they're just not going to stand out once this thing is enclosed and lit by a couple LEDs but once this is done I'm going to gloss everything and then cover it with some MIGS dark wash which I originally did not want to use because I didn't want to dirty this up too much However, I just think it's going to be necessary mainly to pick out some of the extra, the smaller details like the books themselves here, give them some detail. Anyway, the books I was trying to, first off I was going to paint all individual colors, but they're just too small, so kind of painting a block of red and then defining over that block of red with a little blue and a little green and a little dark blue and like that, so got a bit more of this to do and then we can do the gloss and the MIGS wash and finish up the interior and here we are interior is well almost put together um, the walls here are not put together yet because I still have to put the roof on before I do that and once I put the roof on and the walls you're not going to be able to see inside as well uh, carpet is done uh, this is the third carpet I made the, fir the first one was an experiment, the second one came out nearly perfect, however, uh, I made it way too big. So I made a third one, I'm getting tired of making these now, a third one uh, that fits a bit better inside the room without taking up everything. A um, couple other things still to do. Uh, there's some furniture on the photo etch, you get a chair and one or, I think this is two tables here. Uh, initially I did not want to add these because I didn't want to make it too cluttered inside this tiny little room however I just realized the chair is for the desk so having a chair in your little library desk would be actually beneficial so I'm gonna go ahead and install that then there are the railings that go well here they kinda go on the ins... Ah, of course I drop it Arr, work with me Okay, screw it. They go on the inside, right here, so you could like lean on the railing and look outside the Nautilus, which I was contemplating adding those or not. I am gonna add them, however, um, I didn't wanna do it beforehand because uh, very delicate and I knew these would get snapped, so I can do that now. And one last interior bit, again, not knowing if I'm using it or not. Uh, the, the photo etch also comes with a uh, helm. What do you call the wheelhouse? What is it? Wheelhouse, that's what you call a, the driving area of the submarine. I know it wasn't a cockpit, but this came with a kit as well. 
Uh, do not know if I'm adding this or not. Mainly that depends on uh, space and lighting issues. Once we get to that, I'll figure out if I'm adding this or not. But at least the interior is done. And then I'll finally, I can start working on some exterior work.